Hello everyone. So today we are going to conduct an mock interview along with uh, David is there. He is uh, recently passed out uh, from the BTEC. I hope so. And uh, we are going to conduct based on the technology we called it as a Oracle DBA. So David, we are going to uh, you know record these sessions and we'll upload it to the YouTube channel. I hope uh, we are having a consent from you about yes. this. Okay. So let's talk about the Oracle DBA. And I want to know that uh, what are all things you are comfortable about the Oracle DBA? I'm comfortable with user management, patching, upgradation, mm -hmm. and etc. Installation, etc. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, I want to know about the. Let's talk about the user management first. Okay. So, what we do in the user management? Like, why we need to create a user in the real-time production environment? We have to give a particular permission to the particular user. Mm -hmm. the, along with the user management, we can do all that things. So, the for the security purpose, we can use user management. Okay. So, uh, what are all the different different type of privileges you know about? The there are two types of uh, privileges, system mm -hmm. privileges and uh, uh, object privileges. Mm -hmm. In that we can give a permission to work on particular uh, structure or the data. So sometimes like you know we have a situations where I want to have a concept like you know my user should be able to change his password every after three months like automatically they will get the notification to change his password so how are you going to achieve this kind of functionalities in the oracle database by the profile we use the password uh, underscore life underscore expire uh, resource mm -hmm. and by this we can do this that. okay and if I want to create a new database, what is the latest version you are going to install? 19C. 19C. And if I want to install the new Oracle database, what are all the different ways are there? By using that, you can install a new Oracle database. By the DBCA or the by manually. Manually, so you can do that. Okay. And let's say I want to take the backup of my table. Okay, yeah. and the table is very important. It's a production table. So I got a request from the client that okay, hi DBA team, can you please take the backup of this, let's say employee table. So what is your approach? Like how are you going to do that? By the EXPDP utility, we can do the backup of that table. Okay, can you tell me the syntax, overall syntax that you are going to use in the EXPDP? EXPDP mm. table is equal to table name username dot table name after that we can directory dump file name and mm -hmm. log file name and can you explain this what is directory what is dump file what is log file? directory is the location where our uh, backup is stored mm -hmm. and dump file is the dump file is nothing but the our backup name mm -hmm. and log file is where the our transactional uh, logs are stored okay and uh, when we are starting our oracle database what are all the different stages through which our oracle database goes there are three stages where first is no mount mode hmm. mount mode and open mode okay in the no mount mode they find the sp file in mount they need a control file and then no database will be open what is that control file multiplexing and what control file store the information control file store the information about data file location data files database names etc and the control file multiplexing is the nothing but the cop multiple copy copies of uh, control files and how can I achieve that if I want to add one more control file? So how to do that? We can change the control file. We can change control files. Sorry. Okay. So let me tell you the answer. Let's, let's say I have two control files are there and if I want to add one more control file, 
basically you need to tell to the sp file that SP okay files. i have three control files are there so once you know once your sp file is saying that okay i have three control files are there the next thing is like on the server level location you need to copy that control file control and this operation you need to perform when your database is not running just copying the control file and you can start your database next time your database will get started with the three control, control files. files and that is called multiplexing of the control, control file i hope it's clear now yes okay now uh, coming to the rman okay what is rman and what we do with the rman rman is the backup utility uh, by the rman we can take the backup of sp file control file uh, archive logs or database etc mm -hmm. Can I take the backup of table by using RMN? Is it possible? Uh, no, is it not possible? Mm. We can use EXPDP utility for table backups. Okay. Whenever my Oracle log destination get hundred percent full, what will be the impact to the Oracle database? How are you going to handle that situations? Uh, we can backup archive logs and uh, delete the. Uh, that archive logs so you are going to delete that archive logs manually or is there any process through which is there one command hmm. backup archive logs hmm. delete uh, input okay okay and what are the different type of backup you know in the rmf there are two types of backup hot backup and cold backup okay what about the full backup incremental what is that full backup and incremental backup is like we take a full backup today hmm. and then we take incremental backup to uh, tomorrow then the incremental backup uh, take backup from from today to tomorrow so basically in the simple world you can say like whatever the changes has been happened happened after the full database backup that is called incremental, incremental backup and how are you going to schedule uh, this backup if you want to schedule it we can schedule it by the uh, shell scripting and cron tab cron tab you can use okay yes. what are uh, any other options where you can schedule it uh, no sir like oem oracle enterprise manager mm -hmm. is also an ability to schedule your jobs and there are multiple other tools are also available like control m and these tools will be helping you Okay. to schedule your jobs also okay keep it in your mind okay now so we uh, talked about the rmn that is uh, fine okay what is the use of listener why we use listener we can use listener to the to give the access to ssh connectivity to the user suppose our database is uh, in other destination and we have to access it from here the we can log in it then the one request is rise and listener tell him tell that request to the database pmon process and the, that checks the user log login and credential mm -hmm. if uh, all are okay then we can connect it okay uh, and what are the different important files uh, that you have observed in the listener the tns file is the important file and what about the file which is available on other site listener.org right yes okay so you are going to provide listener.org file to the client or which file you are going to provide tns file we have when what is the default port number uh, 1521 1521 okay so now coming to the next part where uh, i want to understand about data guard okay yeah. uh, so what are the different type of data guard you know did you heard about the physical standby database active data guard snapshot standby database anything no sir no right what is the use of data guard okay let's keep it more simple data guard is used for the disaster recovery mm -hmm. like uh, we can create one standby database we can clone a database 
and create one standby database if our primary database goes down hmm. or destroy it then we can start up the database with the standby database okay we can recover it by the standby database okay so overall like uh, the way you have tackled the interview uh, it's fine because we cannot expect uh, more from the freshers so whatever questions answers that you have given overall it is fine uh, but m- again like my suggestion to you is like you should try to improve your basic skill set again okay, okay. Uh, when you talked in the interview be confident and uh, no need to worry about what is happening around the world okay be confident and whatever questions uh, if you know the answer straight away you can say that if you don't know that is fine because we cannot expect everyone that everyone know each and every answer so yes. it's okay it's a part of life only so those people uh, who are watching this video if you want to know more about such a type of videos please do like subscribe and share this channel and if you think that you have some expertise with the oracle dba uh, and you have some experience with the oracle dba you want to conduct a mock interview along with us there is a form available in the description of this video you can fill up the form and we will call you for the mock interview it can be offline also in pune location it can be online also second thing is uh, whatever interview questions that you have faced in your interview you can fill up that interview questions also uh, into the another form which is available in the descriptions okay those people who are looking for oracle db training uh, starting from very scratch very basic to the advanced level like oracle db react db golden gate uh, even if you are looking for big data training you can reach out to us all the contact details are available in the description of this video you can also visit our website where interview questions are already uh, written including the video interview questions and answer so you can enroll to that course also thank you so much for being here david and spending your time with us uh, again we will connect for the rack also and we'll conduct the interview on rack in the next month okay thanks bye bye